this is what I always dreamt about. My domestic little wife at home, fire going, smell of whatever that smell is coming from the kitchen, and my son asleep in his nursery. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Boy, do I hate to burst your chauvinistic fantasy, but that smell coming from the kitchen is courtesy of Pampered Palette, and Adam isn't in the nursery. You didn't pick him up yet? No, Mama and Cal are going to bring him over when they come by for dinner, so... Honey, why don't you go on up and jump in the shower, and then you can change, and then you can help me with the salad later. Used to be Leanne's job. Yeah, I know. I miss her, too. You know, tonight when I came in, I hollered upstairs for her to come down and help me with dinner, and darn, she's in New Jersey. Well, it's going to take some getting used to, I'll tell you that. You're not kidding. Imagine how poor Duke feels. So I take it Duke changed his mind about our dinner invitation? Yeah, he and John are going to have dinner over at Kim's. I'm sure you don't want my opinion, but in my opinion, mm -hmm. I think Kim probably doesn't need John hanging around right now. Maybe not, but I don't think it's our place to get involved. So, what? anything new on the lily front? There. Yeah, Hal has Kevin Williams looking out after her. Mm -hmm. okay. You feel it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Hal just gave me the list of names of people who bought the doll from James and Son in London, and Henry Lang is one of them. Oh, that's strange. Not as strange as the fact that Connor Jameson bought one. Yeah, uh, Hal asked her about it, and she said it was a Christmas present for her mother. Yeah, but I thought you told me that her mother was in a nursing home back east. She is. This is... Oh, God, I just wish Holden would call, because I want to tell him about Henry. My God. What have you done? I have to call Angel. I have to warn... Wait a minute, Barkley. What, what did you mean when you said that Henry's the last person that can help Angel? Don't make me spell it out for you. I wish that you would, because you're not making any sense. Then you have to trust me. Angel needs our help right now. What, what do you mean? What kind of help? The same kind that she needed when she was a little girl. She turned to me, and I didn't know what to do. What, is, what does this all have to do with Henry? Are you blind? My father is responsible for all of Angel's emotional problems. My mother tried to get her away from him, but after she died, there was nothing standing in his way. He couldn't wait to have his daughter back again, to be close to her again. Are you saying? Yes. That is exactly what I'm saying. Please. Oh, please, no. How did you know I was here? Your husband told me. But I should have guessed it myself when I was never able to reach you in London. Oh, this house. This room. I've always been very special. For you and me. Daddy, please just go away. You know, I can't do that. You need me now, more than ever. Serve us.
Daddy, don't. Daddy, please don't. brought to you today by Carefree Sugarless Gum with NutraSweet. The flavor lasts. How long will the flavor of Carefree Sugarless Gum last? Till the cows come home. Welcome home. <laughs> Carefree peppermint with NutraSweet. The flavor lasts. If you want to tell people about new mini chips and hard cookies, you don't go to these guys. You come to me, Spud Webb, the mini man in big time basketball. These new mini chips are hard are mini, like me. But there's a lot to them, like me. You grab a handful, crunch them anywhere. New mini chips are hard. Personally, I like to dunk them. So, I see you discovered the salsa. Discovered it? I haven't moved away from it all night. Well, you're the expert. What do you think? Definitely didn't get it from a jar. How do you know? Easy. The chilies, they're roasted. So? So are the ones in the jars are usually steam peeled. Yeah. Oh, it tastes fresh, chunky. Yeah. And the onions have just... Oh, I don't believe this. I've eaten the whole bowl. Relax. There's more over there. Where? Ortega salsa. You'll never know it comes out of a jar. It was ringing. Then somebody took the phone off the hook. All I'm getting is a busy signal. Oh, no. Dad must be up there. Who are you calling? The like Geneva police. No! You gotta stop, Henry. No! What do you intend to tell the sheriff? Think of Angel. What do you think that I'm doing? No, you're not! Angel could not bear it if the humiliation of this came out. I tried to get her to seek help, but she was too guilty, too ashamed. That's how Dad's always kept her in line. What a nightmare. You. You have no idea what a nightmare this has been for her. She, she never thought that a man could ever love her or respect her. And that's why your marriage to her was so important. For the first time in her life, she felt safe. She thought that you were strong enough to protect her from Henry, to give her a clean slate. This doesn't make any sense. Why has Henry done everything he can to keep Angel and me together? Because he knew you didn't love her that this would be a marriage in name only, that he could always have her for himself. I want you to order Henry's jet fuel. Have it waiting for us at Midway. What if he's already taken Then charter another one. Damn it, he gave you the authority. Use it. Do it for Angel. Man, Wednesday. Sons and Daughters, Fridays on CBS. Yeah, Ellie wants to talk to you. Thanks. Sure. <clears throat> Hi. Listen to this. Kirk spent the afternoon with Lucinda, and she didn't mention Holden and me once. Well, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, me too. I'm going to say In fact, it, it, it makes me worry that she's got to be hatching some sort of a scheme. On a brighter note, when does your new exec start? Oh, Ted should be starting sometime this week, I guess. How did the meeting with Cal go? Did he like our ideas? Great. He loved them. He was very... Oh, I'll see you that is... Who is it? Williams. Any calls? Uh, just Holden and Ellie Snyder. Well, I saw a car pull in your driveway, Lily, very slowly. The driver saw me, he split. Fortunately, I couldn't get the license. But, Lily, do you know of anybody in this complex that has a blue sedan? A blue sedan? That was the kind of car that was driving uh, near the garage the night that I had my accident? And it's the same kind of car that, that Holden saw driving away from the gravel bank on New Year's Eve. I 
just wish I knew who on earth is doing this. Here. Have some coffee. I don't want it. Just drink it. I need you sober. I just can't believe all this. But it all makes so much sense. She really loved you, Holden. She was trying so hard to build a life with you. Free herself from the hold Dad had over her. And then she saw it all go to pieces. I remember how close she and Henry seemed when I first met her. She couldn't do anything without her daddy's okay. He brainwashed her with years of guilt and fear. He warned her that if she told anyone, they wouldn't understand. They'd put her in an institution, and they would destroy the family. How could you just stand there and let him get away with this? What was I supposed to do? I was 13 when I first realized something was wrong. Angel got so distant, and when I approached her for it, she even receded more. I didn't understand. One night I went to her room. I had heard her crying, and I thought that I would go and see what it was about. I saw Dad leaving. And I was too afraid to do anything. The next day I confronted her. She became hysterical. She finally broke down and swore me to secrecy. I tried to get her to see help, but she refused. Then another night after Dad had left her, I told her that I was going to the authorities, and she told me that if I did, she would kill herself. And after that, I knew that I was completely helpless. I didn't know how to live with it. And I didn't know how to stop it. I saw what it did to our mother. She stood up to Henry. She got Angel away from him after the divorce. But that took a toll. And she started to drink. Like I have. And in the end, that killed her. What about Stephen and Jay? Do they know about this? Angel never trusted them. After your mother died, and after Henry brought her back, why didn't you just get her out of there? He'd have just found her sooner or later. See, you don't really know my father, Holden. He always wins. And I always retreat into the bottle. And Angel. Sometimes I wonder how Angel has managed to survive at all. Angel, Angel, my bright Angel. Now that you're back, I'm going to take care of you. Please don't, Danny, please don't. Angel, Angel, I'm, I'm going to let you stay in the summer house tonight if that's what you want, but tomorrow... Tomorrow, we're going to move back home to Chicago, where you belong. Daddy, please don't make me Sweetheart, me. sweetheart, sweetheart, I want you to remember what I've always told you. Nobody will ever love you as much as I do. I, I warned you about other men. Surely, now you can see that I was right. I promise. I promise they're never going to hurt you again. It will never happen again.
Oh, Samantha. I'm so tired. Let's go to sleep. Barclay. Angel told me that if I ever pushed for a divorce, she'd make Lily suffer for it. And you believed her? That was just desperate talk. Angel never heard a fly. Well, then how come she's in Lake Geneva and having everybody believe that she's in London? Because she is hiding from my father. And I am trying to siphon money off from the Lang business accounts to set up a private account for her. She knew that if this divorce ever came through, she would be totally at his mercy. He made sure she's got no funds of her own. We had to find a way to buy her time, buy her freedom. And this morning, I failed her again. Yes. Are you sure? Please do everything you can. This is very important. What's wrong? The plane is circling Lake Geneva, but there are heavy ground winds. If the pilot can't negotiate the runway, we will have to be diverted to Milwaukee. Did Hal have anything new to report? No, I'm afraid not. He still has mail to reach, Henry. I just wish I would have gotten a good look at that guy in the sedan. Well, I... I saw him, I guess, but it was only when I opened the door and he was there in a ski mask, and I was so scared I fainted. Lily, I know we've probably been over this a dozen times already, but is there anything, anything at all distinctive about him? Well, he was tall and well-built, and that's all I remember. I just got in, uh, Detective Munson, and my maid left a message that you had called several times. Uh, what is this in reference to? Yes, I remember ordering uh, a doll like that. I saw it in a brochure when I was visiting my London showroom. It was called The Christmas Angel. And since my daughter's name is Angel, I thought it would make a nice gift for the little girl that she and her husband had adopted. No, they, uh, they lost the child when her birth parents reclaimed her. So I turned the doll over to a local charity here to distribute to some needy child. 
No, I have, uh, I have no way of knowing where it could be now. Could I ask why the Oakdale police are so interested in it? Well, no, I, uh, I understand, certainly. If there's anything more I can do to help, please don't hesitate to call. Goodbye. Well, Virgil, it's a good idea. We decided to end our little operation tonight. It's more than we agreed on, but I know that your family can use it. Thanks, Mr. Lang. I trust this will remain our secret, just like the other jobs you've undertaken for me in the past. You can count on me. Discretion is my middle name. Don't worry about your job in the plant in North Carolina. Your manager knows that you were working on a special assignment for me. Yes, sir. Anytime I can be of service, you just call on me. Did Holden Snyder stop by here looking for me? Uh, no, sir. I didn't see him. Mm. His plans must have changed. Do you have any idea where Barkley went? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Lang. He didn't say. Hmm. I see. Well, the minute he gets in, will you please tell him that I need to speak with him, no matter how late it is? Yes, sir. Will that be all? No. I want you to check on my daughter's room, make sure that everything is in order. Our angel is coming home tomorrow. Angel! Angel! Where are you? Try the bedroom. If she's anywhere, that's where she'll be. Angel! Are you up here? Angel? Angel? 